stop. Keep on, I said it ain't gon' stop. It ain't gon' stop. It ain't gon' flop. Flop. Stop acting like we ain't so hot. Talk about this MP44. The price is too damn high. Now I know what you're thinking. Uh, gotta pay to play. Let me see what what's the normal. I haven't done a vlog in a minute, so uh, you know, excuse me. And don't talk about my wrinkled shirt because it's my undershirt. But um, yeah, what what's the the people that's buying it? Uh, you know, people that's buying it gotta make excuses for buying it. Um. People that's not buying it, they claim they gotta make excuses for not buying it. But I have a good reason not to buy it. Uh I mean for one, the price it, it it's uh obviously price gouging for one. Um in business there's something that businesses do to gauge what consumers will pay. Um in our fandom it I guess price is and want demand is subjective. Like in other industries, we wouldn't pay ten dollars for a loaf of bread when, cause it's Wonder Bread or whatever your favorite brand is. You're not gonna pay ten dollars for that bread when somebody else makes bread uh, just as good almost down the street, and it's three fifty. Um, you're just not gonna do it in this fandom for some reason. We don't take stands. Like, if we got the money, we buy it. Personally, I don't can, I don't subscribe to that. Um, and I don't think we should, all should. Because that's the reason the prices are where they are. And this is what I mean when I say companies and, and all businesses, they do it. They raise the price a little bit. They, they draw it back when they're not getting business. Uh, demand determines. You know, you see it in the clothing business all the time. Uh, look at Timberland. Timberland wasn't super. Well, in the beginning, Timberlands wasn't at all. It was like thirty bucks. And then, then when hip hop came out and started making it cool to wear Timberlands and and all that stuff, then now you get what you get. Like you can't buy Timberlands for one hundred and fifty dollars or less, uh, unless you go to the outlet or something. So that is, I guess that's where my stance is. Um, now, there's a lot of accessories that's coming with it. To me, that's box filler. Most of those accessories you're not going to use. Um, even if there's a shitload of accessories, which they are, um, from that list that I see. And why do they list how big the box is? I don't care how big the box is. Yeah, those accessories are, are not, they're still not worth it. Like, they still don't pack the punch. Personally, I think it's insulting that Takara would do this. Uh, now this is speculation. This may not be the final price. Um, I mean, I don't know. I still don't have MP thirty six because of what they did with the price. Uh, but that is more reasonable than. And there's other reasons I don't have it because I already had uh, DX 9s offering, which I'm happy with. Um, I'm not one of the people that need all the car stuff. Like I just want a representation of the character that I like and a representation that I like. Now Takara most of the time does that the best. But another talk of I guess talking point that I wanted to touch on. Welcome to my TED talk on MP44. But uh Yeah, so another talking point I wanted to discuss is if Takara is this out of touch or if they're that arrogant. Um now they're they have more money than most of these third party companies. These third party companies are kind of small businesses besides they some of them do have like factories. I don't know. I mean I would refer to Skullface. He does great discussions on all that stuff. He he's been in touch with a lot of, you know, shout out to, to Skullface. Bye bye. To me or what I see to Carver, uh, you know, they're in the mainstream. They're they're the first party. So they have a lot more resources than some of these third party companies. And to me that means that they can afford to make less profit, but they don't, they want to make more profit. And that, that just, 
I don't know how how well that flies with me uh, personally. Um, I don't like it. It doesn't sit well when companies try to uh, get over on me. Either way, like I don't like straight KO rip off companies. I do have some KOs, but they're like Wei Jang's, uh, and you know some people, whatever, whatever you're feeling on KOs are. I don't buy the straight rip offs just because I feel like they're marketing them as the exact product and and not telling people i don't like that um just like i don't like companies that's trying to get over on us see my rapper hands the other thing i wanted to say is is our fandom can be toxic at times and i don't know what that is is it i don't know if it's arrogant is it uh exclusivity like like people some people are arrogant about being able to afford it i can afford this it's not gonna hurt me to buy it um you know in a sense i'd rather put that money in the bank of course i'd rather put that money elsewhere um and i will put that money elsewhere because i am not purchasing this if this is the final price now this is all speculation because it came up on i guess tf source put it up first uh i'm not sure if the other outlets have it yet but this always happens um but there's a, a site that has 50,000 yen, I guess, and that's like 400. I guess that translates directly to whatever the price was, 449. I'm about value and uh, not just value, but I need a representation of the character. But I'm not going to go crazy trying to get that rep representation because I know there's a third party company out there that may make it better. Um, Fan stories have been close as far as a lot of characters, the way they look. I, I like a lot of fan stories products better than Takara's. Um, there's people out there that's like, no, you need official Takara masterpieces. Nah, no, you don't. You need just what you want. Like, that's it. So, um, I don't know. I, like I was saying, I don't, I don't like these practices because I feel like they're gauging and as long as people pay for it, they're going to keep raising the prices. And it is what it is. Um, and if you say you got to pay to play, well, guess what? I won't play. It, it, that's just what it is. I'll find my characters elsewhere. All right. So just want a little discussion, a little vlog. Haven't done this in a while. So I'll get up with you. In pop, I feel I got to say who am I? You might say influence and I spit better than most in this game.